Did you hear that Marvel's Black Panther is getting a ton of early critical acclaim? Don't freeze. I never freeze. That Tom Hanks has been cast as Mr. Rogers in the biopic You Are My Friend? I absolutely do. What about the announcement of the Shining sequel with Mike Flanagan set to direct? No? We've got you covered. Welcome to The Cinephiles, a weekly show where we zoom in on the most buzzworthy news Hollywood and the indie scene has to offer. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number 3. Mike Flanagan to direct the Shining sequel, Doctor Sleep. Here's Johnny! <laughs> One of the most iconic horror movies of all time is now getting a sequel, and the man taking over the directing job is already familiar with Stephen King projects. Why don't you start right now and get the f*** out of here? Horror director Mike Flanagan will be directing Warner Brothers' production of Doctor Sleep, which continues the Shining story by following Danny Torrance into adulthood, where he must help a 12-year-old girl from the paranormal. Come and play with us, Danny. Flanagan previously directed the film adaptation of King's Gerald's Game, and has an impressive back catalog of scary movies, like Ouija Origin of Evil, Come on. and Hush. This may arguably be the most arduous project Flanagan has taken on to date, with The Shining being regarded as one of the best horror movies of all time, and directed by one of the most iconic filmmakers ever in Stanley Kubrick. No word yet on who will be cast in the film, or when it will be released. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains. Number 2. Tom Hanks cast as Mr. Rogers in Biopic it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood for Tom Hanks, as the Academy Award-winning actor has been cast in the Mr. Rogers biopic, You Are My Friend. Now, there's no greater joy than that seen through the eyes of a child. I mean, he's a little bit child in all of us. TriStar Pictures obtained the worldwide distribution rights to the film, which will focus on the life of Rogers and the friendship that was built between him and journalist Tom Junod, whose outlook on life was forever changed after reporting on the television personality. Let's have some make-believe. The movie will be directed by Marielle Heller, who made a name for herself with the critically acclaimed indie flick, The Diary of a Teenage Girl. As a mother, I am so inspired by the teachings of Fred Rogers, said Heller. I am in awe of his life's work. Rogers was famous for creating, hosting, and writing the theme music for the TV show Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, a children's educational program. Hanks is no stranger to playing iconic kids' entertainment personalities, having played Walt Disney in Saving Mr. Banks. Because that's what we storytellers do. We restore order with imagination. We instill hope again and again and again. Before we get to our final entry, here are a couple new releases. Mrs. Winchester, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Do you believe in ghosts, Dr. Price? I do not believe in anything I cannot see or study. I feel their presence. In the air, in the walls, it has found us. You want to know what separates us from normal people, Joe? This, right here. This is what separates us from normal people. Number 1. Black Panther First Reactions So, how well is Black Panther being received? Why don't you ask him yourself? Because he's right outside. <laughs> Before the movie has even been released for public viewing, critics and industry members are absolutely raving over Ryan Coogler's Black Panther. My son, it is your time. The Hollywood premiere of the film took place at the Dolby Theater earlier this week, and, according to The Hollywood Reporter, audiences have been praising the film, especially its story, costumes, Coogler's direction, and the visionary splendor that is the African Kingdom of Wakanda. Wakanda! Those who were lucky enough to see the film were generous in the reviews, praising Michael B. Jordan as the best MCU villain ever, and some even saying it, quote, will save blockbusters. The movie sees Chala return to his African kingdom of Wakanda, where he must take over the throne after the passing of his father, and protect the technological advancements his people have created from falling into the wrong hands. I want your weapons. I want to play your secrets. On the radar. It's all mine now. Still no Rotten Tomato score, however, as the movie only comes out February 16th. What happens now determines what happens 